Do you guys think everything is bigger in Texas? In my opinion, it actually is. In this video, I'm gonna show you what type of home you can get in the suburbs of Houston, Texas for $500,000. What's up everybody? Welcome to the Living in Houston, Texas channel. This channel is everything you need to know about living in Houston, Texas. What it's like to eat, sleep, and breathe here. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Thank you for joining. If you're not new, welcome back. Do me a favor, hit that like button guys. It helps everybody that's looking for this type of content find it. Also hit the subscribe button so you're notified every time I produce a video like this just for you guys. So today, guys, I'm in Missouri City, Texas. Missouri City is one of the suburbs south of Houston, Texas. It's about a 30 minute drive from downtown, very close to the medical center. Um, I am actually in Sienna. Sienna is one of the largest master plan communities in the greater Houston area. Let me put it in perspective for you. So Sienna is a 10,800 acre community. Most of the master plan communities that you find around here are about 3,000 um, acres. So we're double, triple that. I actually live here. Some of the great things about Sienna that you'll find here it is not only is it massive but it's tons of things to do here I mean lifestyle for families and just anybody in general is off the charts so there's eight on-site schools here five elementary schools two middle schools and one high school in addition we have four major amenity centers. We have resort style pools, a golf club, equestrian stables. We have Camp Sienna, which is our major sports recreation park and so much more guys. If you're looking for lifestyle for your family, Sienna is definitely a place you wanna be in, in Missouri City. But like I said, in today's video, I'm gonna show you what it's like to purchase a home that's around $500,000-ish, you know, in the suburbs of Houston, Texas. One of the reasons why I picked Sienna in Missouri City is because these homes will give you a good gauge as to what you can get for the price. Now, of course, it's all gonna determine about the location. Some communities or some areas may be a little bit higher, some may be a little bit lower, but I think these homes is gonna give you a really good gauge of what you can get for $500,000. So right behind me, I'm actually at a home that's listed in Sienna for $575,000. This home is four bedroom, three and a half bath. It's roughly 3,300 square feet and it sits on an 8,000 square foot lot. Now I'm gonna actually take you in so you can see some of the amenities and features that you would get in a home like this. This home was built in 2020. And of course now, depending on the age of the home, the price does change as well. So this will give you a good gauge of what you can get for like a newer home in the $500,000-ish price range. So come on, let's take a look. Now, before I actually show you guys some of the details and features of this particular home, I want to give you a good gauge as what you can expect for a home that's in that $500,000-ish range. One, I know studies are a huge deal right now. So majority of the homes do come with a study or some type of bonus area that you can convert into a study. You're gonna have more than one living spaces as well. So I'm standing right now um, in the kitchen that opens up into the, the living room space, but upstairs in this home, you also have a huge game room plus the media room, which I'll show you guys also too. And in the $500,000-ish price point, you can expect the square footage to top out really about 3,200 square feet. So you're probably looking anywhere from about 2,600 square feet to 3,200 square feet is what you're gonna get for $500,000. You're also gonna get a nice lot size too. Um, I know lots important, it's hot in Houston, guys. So a lot of people like to put the pools and things like that. You you're, you're, you're definitely gonna get in most cases enough backyard to put a lot i mean to put a pool in as well but let's check this home out gonna kind of tell you some of the so you show you some, some of the specific features and why i think this one may actually be a good one for you so this particular home has a two-story study that people really find attractive as well if i stand back in here you look up the study goes all the way to the second floor right um in addition like i said you're gonna have multiple bonus spaces you have a formal dining room and then if you go into the kitchen one thing you can see about the kitchen most of the homes in the five hundred thousand dollar price point is going to give you ample counter top and cabinet space so take a look at this kitchen tons of cabinet space tons of countertop space a lot of room for you to entertain
All right, now let's go to the primary bedroom. You're definitely gonna get a spacious primary bedroom. As you'll see here, this one is um, more than enough room for a king bed and all of your bedroom furniture. Now, one thing about the primary bathrooms, 99% um, of them will have dual vanities, um, separate tub and shower, and ample closet space. Now, I told you guys everything was big in Texas, and so you get a lot of space in the homes. I'm standing upstairs now. Upstairs, there's three additional really nice size secondary bedrooms, but I wanted to show, show you this, guys. This is the game room, right? This is the complete game room. Tons of space for whatever it is you want to do. You can turn this into a playroom. This can be an actual game room. I've even seen people build this out to like gymnasium, but on top of that, there's also a media room. Now, media rooms in the 500-ish price point, there, you'll see them in maybe about 50% of the homes, right? You can definitely expect a main living area and a couple of other bonus spaces, but media room is a plus. This one has a media room, so this will be the room where you can set up like your home theaters and things like that. They're pretty much closed in. Not a lot of them have windows, or if they do have windows, they only have one or two windows. These are designed for minimal light because again they want it to feel like it's a movie room take a look at all this space guys this is the backyard yes in the five hundred thousand dollar ish price point you're gonna get a nice size backyard in my opinion this is a little bit larger than the average but still tons of room for a pool some backyards of course be, will be smaller and some will be larger just depending on the lot that you choose most of the time if you're in a cul-de-sac lot a corner lot or something like that what we call a premium lot you're going to get a bigger backyard but i mean just look around this is tons of space to put you know a pool your outdoor kitchen whatever it is so just keep that in mind you're going to get a big backyard in, in in texas in general right but another thing that i want to point out because a lot of people ask me about this when they come from out of town look fencing all the way around in the suburbs in these master plan communities fencing is standard so don't worry about if you're going to get a fence or not it's definitely going to be included with the home all right, guys, it's starting to rain, so we're about to wrap this up. But hey, I'm Nicole Handy, the team lead of the Nicole Handy team here in Houston, Texas, and we help tons of people with their move to Houston, Texas. So if you're looking to move to Houston, Texas, don't hesitate to text us, call us, or you can skip all of that. There's a link below where you can schedule a consultation where we'll meet with you one-on-one -on -one to discuss all of your Houston needs. Regardless of how you get in contact with us, we would love to help you with your move to Houston, Texas.